Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again. Our streak is hot, stinky garbage right now. But I am going to play as... Hmm. Let's just play as Zach for, for a time. It's been a little while since we played as Zach. He can be a little bit of an oddball. He's, his ability isn't particularly insane. His character, like, sort of personality, so to say, isn't, like, crazy or anything. But I do enjoy him quite a lot. Um, I think he can lead to some pretty interesting situations. Obviously, the fact that his shops are a little lackluster does make him a little weaker in some regards. But then again, if you get lucky, there is a bit of gambling involved. If you get lucky, you kind of get some good stuff. I'm going to try and get this to work. You can see what I'm trying to do already, right? There you go. You see? That was, that was pretty smart, right? Oh, I'm a pretty smart cookie. I know my shit. I know my shit. But yeah, how is everybody excited for Christmas? How's how's everyone feeling about it? You all looking forward to the holidays upcoming? I've already asked the question of the day what you're doing for your uh, Christmas holidays. So that won't be the question of the day today. I'm just interested. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you bitch. Okay, good item. But I really could have played that a lot better. Uh, also, <laughs> our character is looking fantastic now. Boom. I love these flies. I found them really difficult to start with, but I actually don't think they're that bad anymore. Um, oh, god damn, we have a lot of money to start. Okay, but our shops aren't very valuable to us anyways, so I'm not going to pretend that money means a lot. But basically, this is Mum's wig, but for Skuzzits instead. I don't know if Skuzzits actually deal any more damage than spiders. I'll be honest. Really, both of those are champions. Lovely. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know if they do any more damage, but I'll take them. Why not? Pretty good stuff. I like the way they jump too. It's it's cool. They're, they're cool guys. But yeah, uh, as for the question of the day to day, hmm. Hmm. What what are your allergies? That's always an interesting one. Because I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's something that a lot of people don't really have any. I, I don't have any particularly that are like super interesting or anything like that. But I think that's always an interesting question to ask. I, I mainly uh, say because um, I just. Uh, had my my mum and um, my sister over for food for a little bit, and um, my sister just recently found out that she's lactose intolerant. Dude, this this game is bullying me right now with the boom flies. Calm down, game. Um, so much loot in this room now. <laughs> uh, yeah, she just recently found out she was lactose intolerant. Um, holy shit! We can snake eyes there, and we got an opponent. Huzzah! Um, also you. Gulp's Hell Trinket spawns a pill. I have to just try, try, and see if I can get myself uh, um, an additional trinket from somewhere. It's super, super, super unlikely. But the fact that it gulps them means I have to make the effort. But you can see how many scuzzits we're getting here. That it, it piles them up pretty darn quick. Got a fiend heart there as well. Why not? Honestly, this champion curse is so good for just... Racking up stuff, even if it is a slightly lower chance. Good stuff. Pop all of those. Go into our shop. Ooh, we actually can get um, a good shop going here. There's some items in here. We'll definitely take this and pop it. We get Child Leaf, Slot Machine, Dim Bulb, and Pinky Eye. Um, honestly, all not bad. Um, I, if I remember correctly, the Slot Machine arm is pretty darn good. Child Leaf doesn't do anything for us right now, neither does Dim Bulb. But Pinky Eye, a little bit of poison. So these are kind of ones that are going to be a bit better later on. It's kind of funny that we're looking for a trinket so that we can smelt it. And we end up getting um, a setup in which we just smelt four trinkets onto us. I actually think the toy box is such a good item. I really do. Oh, damn. we got a crawl space as well here. Um, I think we want to go for the cracked key here. And that's a bit more valuable. I think I'll waste my potential just three pennies here on... Um, Spending it on you just in case we get something good out of you. Unlikely, but... Hey, there you go. We got some sort of wisp. It's a interesting one. It's a sword-based one. I kind of like that. Ooh. Oh, actually, this is not bad. I was going to say, that's a bit of a shame because we can't get that, but... Oh, wait. This is... Oh, no. There you go. We got it. There you go. Wait, is Dirty Mind only a quality one? What the hell? Awesome. We got Dirty Mind out of that. We can go in here for free as well, as long as I don't take any damage, which is not always a guarantee, I realize. 
press that. I lost the holy mantle. Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm dead. I didn't think that'd happen. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> game. Why are you like this to me? I don't even think Crack Key can save us. Damage down, great stuff. I thought I pressed it in time. <laughs> I'm depressed. I'm just gonna. What the hell's going on here? Devil key pieces is causing some errors. I'm just gonna go and do um, spawn five point three hundred point one. No one saw anything. It's fine. <laughs> it's the first floor, and I'm enjoying this run. Leave me alone. I cheat. We can class this as a death anyways, but I cheat to have fun. This this run this run's got some potential. Oh wait, we got a thing there. I can't believe I got hit there. There was a literal kill switch in the room, and I was like, cool, we'll just use that. I mean we could gulp it. <laughs> um yeah, why not? It's terrible, but it's funny. It's my... It, this is my penance. This is my penance. Also, with coming down, it's actually not so bad. Because we can at least see where it's coming now. Um, but this this is our penance. This this is the price we have to pay. The price we have to pay for... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The slot machine thing is very good. Um, this is the price we have to pay for getting ourselves to escape for free. I think people will say that that's fair. Maybe. Oh, we also got one of those machines, too. I can't remember how much they cost. I don't know if it being gold means that it stomps less often or more. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what it classes as better. So, with it being gold, it's every 10 seconds. I don't know if it normally is every 20 seconds or... I, yeah, I really don't know. I'll be honest. I think it's less. I think it's every 20 seconds and it's upped it to 10. I think. <coughs> I apologize. I mean, it can do some good stuff for us. It can do some good stuff, stuff for us. Little Steven will take him on board. I, I just can't believe that Dirty Mind is quality 1, Little Steven quality 2. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it now? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We left a red poop there. Actually, we can use the red poop. Nice. And we've actually got a penny there as well. We'll go get that. Yeah, the confessional booths, unfortunately, they don't really do much for me. But it's nice that we can get those sort of things anyways. It's not a bad thing, is it? But yeah, at the minute, holy dips are uh, very useful for us. We got pretty lucky with that poop there. I just can't believe I got hit. I just, oh, the stupidity in this boy. Okay, don't don't spawn any more dips because we're going to end up accidentally despawning our holy boys. Yeah, mum's toenail, generally pretty awful, but with coming down mod, it actually makes it a lot better than it used to be because at least now we can see, oh, we got damage up there, lovely. At least now we can see when it's, uh, like when it's coming down and where, whereas before you're completely in the dark. Okay, unfortunately, most of our holy dips, all of our holy dips have died. That's a bit of a shame. And range damage. Okay, that's pretty decent. Do we want to go devil deal here? I think I'll check it out, yeah. Um, transforms half your health into fiend minions. Is that good? I'm just going to take this for the tears up. Not amazing quality stuff there. But anyways, let's keep it moving on. I don't even know if did I, did I end up coming. Oh, I did come up with a question of the day. I completely forgot there. Now, this is the sort of shit I'm talking about. Now, let's hope we can get some money to um, to make these viable. But that is the sort of stuff we're talking about right there. Two slot machines. No, not slot machines. Um, crane games. One of them has mysterious gift as a as a plausibility. I think that's pretty darn good. Take your... Oh, God damn, that big shot that scared the hell out of me. Do I want to be taking more pills? I mean, I've already I've already sort of tried it now. Yeah, there you go. 
ended up being pretty valuable for us. And is that a tinted rock I see? Oh, yes, it is. I'm getting much better at spotting them. I say much better at spotting them. I think I've already been pretty good at spotting them, but I can probably destroy that poop. Yeah, there you go. It's really nice having the one-shot poop kill um, mod on with, when you're playing with Dirty Mine because it just makes out-of-combat poop spawning a lot easier. Adjustments always lovely. The double keys. It's really nice that it doesn't count a golden key for anything when it gives you the adjustment there. I, I, had, I had a feeling it was going to, like, take into account the fact that we had a golden key and not give us as much, but luckily we still get the keys because they'll be useful for the next floor. Um, and that's very good. This is a really decent run so far. Also... Under the tinted rock there. I realized there is a potential chance for me to just wait it out and let um let my mum's foot stomp on things to, to like get me tinted rocks and stuff. But considering it's just random where it lands, that could genuinely take forever, and I don't wanna put myself through that sort of hell. Um I don't think I wanna do experiment. Actually, eh, whatever, we'll take it. Speed up lockdown, that's fine. I actually quite like a speed upgrade. And then that's pretty good because we can get uh, red poops out of it. Just don't accidentally walk into it as all. I'm liking the pills that spawn poops right now. They are pretty useful for me. But these, I think the red ones are a bit weaker. But we can spawn an unlimited amount of them. So we've got like a little bank of them there. An opponent <laughs> that like instantly died to my dips there. Look at a dime in there as well. Lovely. Lovely. God damn, this is a lucky run here. This is some YouTuber luck. And by the YouTuber luck, I mean I cheated to not have myself die when I already should be dead. Uh, tarot cloth here, thank you. The world, why not? Around the world, around the world. Lovely. Right. Keep it going. Got us off the cardboard box. We did get ourselves a bag tissue, which I can't remember exactly how they work. It picks up... Oh, damn, we got Head of the Keeper. What the hell's going on, game? Um, all pickups in a room and destroys them, and the eight most valuable are picked up um, to form an item quality based on their total weight. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five in the room so far. Is there any way we can make it up to eight? Probably not, right? Probably not. But yeah, as if we now got this as well. This is just crazy amounts of luck right now. I absolutely love this run. I'm so glad that I cheated. <laughs> I'm probably, like I said, I, I'm, I'm probably not, I say probably, I'm definitely not going to do things like that when it comes to the new save file. Um, I think I'm just going to take this stuff. I'm not going to bother with back tissue. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to do this sort of stuff when it comes to the new save file. I want it to be fresh from zero. And I actually want to try my hardest and like try and do well and stuff like that. Um... And deaths like that, if they happen, they happen. But when we're having, when we're just playing runs, we're having fun with it. It's all about the commentary and stuff. I mean, stuff like that's just funny, isn't it? And I think people would would say that they want to see this run continue, so. Or at least I'm hoping. Two snake eyes again. Bankrupt. I think that just lost us some money there. I don't mind losing some money. It's fine by me. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't mind it either. I didn't play my crane games. I just bought Tower of Cloth. I forgot completely. I'm stupid. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You see? You see, people? Clinical moron here. Clinical moron. I cannot remember basic things. And this time around, we didn't even get good um, good stuff in the starting room. Yeah, I, I, I actually can't believe how ridiculous the crane arm is. I don't know what mod it's from. But as a trinket, it is obscenely powerful. Four free random, um, like, beggars every single floor is a crazy amount. Crazy amount. I don't know who thought that was. Like, one beggar would have been a pretty strong trinket. Four is nuts. Because <laughs> there can be any beggar as well. It's even better. Of course, it just means it can, it can be ones that you're not that interested in. But it also means it could be stuff like crane games. I think it's crazy. Or hell, even Hell's games are pretty good. Demon Beggars, pretty ace. There's just a lot of good stuff you can get out of it. I, I swear, did they nerf um, Head of the Keeper? Because I'm getting very few pennies. That's like the first penny I've seen from it in ages. Okay, and then we get two back to back. I mean, yeah, I'm a little annoyed I forgot about the Korean games last floor. But honestly, Tarot Cloth is not a bad grab. 
Um, we might have ended up spending more than it was worth and not getting anything, um, which is obviously not good. So, I don't know. Let's just pretend we saved money. Let's just pretend we saved money on this ordeal. These guys are just generate poops for us. I should have just let, let them be. Also, I did see that tinted rock there. So far, I think we spotted every tinted rock this run, which is a pretty good feeling. We've got this poop army chasing us. Back up to full HP. Um, ooh. Very, 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 very good uh, item right there. And we get exactly enough for it here. Golden penny at the start of every floor. Our first room every floor is getting to the point that it's pretty wicked, I'll be honest. Getting to the point of being something pretty special. Holy An opponent. Well, that was rude. That didn't feel fair at all. Okay, don't change my colour of my game forever this time. Thank you. I've been having a lot of bugs with those dudes changing the colour of my game recently. <laughs> Very strange. Don't smush my holy boys. Eh, mum's stockings, not so good, but hey her. Kind of fits the theme of the beard, which is a strange thing to say, but it does. And here we'll get ourselves our golden penny. And then we've got tech zero, which we'll definitely try and grab. As long as our uh, goddamn foot doesn't smush on it. Hey, we got it. We got the D100, which I don't really care about so much. I'll probably leave that there. Okay, I, I don't know how that didn't blow that up, but... I guess it didn't. Oh, damn. Enemies being invincible like this allow you to uh, generate more money off of them. Interesting. Yeah, I can just generate money off of these enemies. Although they do seem to be killing my, uh, doing a good job of killing my dips, so maybe not the best idea, actually. Yeah, we've only got one holy dip left, so maybe it wasn't worth it. We end a bit of, end a bit of dosh. Don't mind that. Yeah, te tech zero here. Great item to grab. Ooh, we got one of these chests. I'll do this. That was so unbelievably worth it. You cannot... Like, that. that's that's obscene how worthwhile that was. We got a Baleful Heart of it, a bunch of Soul Hearts. We got a really good card. I'm going to have to open those more often. Because that was crazy. It paid out way more than I put into it. <laughs> oh, the foot almost got me. It's like playing with the shovel. It's not quite as deadly as the shovel, but it is kind of like the shovel, isn't it? Good, good. There's a planetarium here. Wasn't expecting that. Gives you a random planetarium item every floor. Sounds pretty good to me. I could have gone for a reroll um, on that, and I have the two, uh, the judgment to get the reroll machines. But I honestly thought, I don't know, random planetarium item every floor. That's pretty good. Because it doesn't include Zodiac. It's just planetarium, so I'll take a random one each floor. It ain't gonna hurt. Okay, I'll, I'll save up a little bit on my snake eyes yet, I think. But yeah, I'll see where I want to use this judgment card, but it could really come in handy. Another interesting spike chest. We've got a few different versions of these spike chests. I mean, to be fair, that chest that I just opened that gave me all the stuff, they are rare enough to kind of constitute being, a, being that good. I will crack that open as well, I think. But what the hell? Allows the player to see enemy's health. Seems pretty good. Okay, okay. It's basically just spider mod the trinket. I really like that. That's very, very nice. Very happy with that. Everything dead? Deep the are. Snake eyes. Pick me up. Oh, we got an eternal heart there. And I finally got hit by the foot. I was a bit too greedy, a bit too hasty. I really wanted that in my belly right away. It was not worth it. 
But yeah, I'm honestly looking forward to the new save file so much. Just something different is going to be so nice. And I'm sure many of you probably agree that having something new is going to be interesting. But yeah, starting again from just absolute zero, I think it's going to be fun for a few reasons. I mean, one, it's just nice, like I said, to have something new. But I think also a lot of you that are here today never never watched my original series. Never watched my, my original Repentance series getting uh, Dead God. So it's going to be cool for you guys. And, and past that, those of you that did watch my Dead God series that did get introduced to my channel post-Repentance never got to see me actually get my save file to to the uh, point that it was um, for Repentance Plus. Because, uh, for Repentance, sorry. Because when I started Repentance, I actually had quite a lot unlocked already. Hey, Belly Jelly's pretty good. I'll just unlock the middle one, why not? Hermit. What does it do? It's a very good shot. Got some very nice stuff there. God damn, this run's getting strong. Didn't even need to reroll any of them. Beautiful. Right, uh, let's go over here. Yeah, I think there's so many of you didn't actually really get to see a lot of that original stuff that I did on my channel for Isaac. So it's going to be like a resurgence for a lot of you into the early days of Isaac because so many of you have never seen me play that stuff, which is pretty cool, I think. I think that's pretty interesting. I should have maybe re-rolled that, but I don't know. Um, we don't really have the money to be messing around with re-rolling right now, so I'm not going to bother with Little Abaddon. Once we have more money, I probably should have done that the other way around, but oh well. The shop seemed good to me there. It seemed to like it seemed like I should just go for that. Um, car battery, uh, not car battery. Sorry, just triple A battery. Is that triple A battery? What the hell is that one called? Just the battery. I don't remember. That's pretty good, anyways. I should probably go for that. We'll see how much this golden penny gives. Make a decision after that. This has been a pretty good golden penny so far. Okay, we'll leave that for now and we'll see what the rest of the floor gives us. Because I want to have a lot of money this time around for um, re-rolling with our restock machines if I get the opportunity. Like if there's an item that needs re-rolling. But so far, this run's popping off. Also, I've just got to say, this game runs so much better now than it used to. So much better. Like, this is a run that before would be like a 20 FPS run. And now, it's still not perfect, but when we're firing, we're on about 45 FPS, which is still way better than it used to be. It's way more tolerable, so I'm super, super happy about that. This is a pretty good item to re-roll, because it's an item I don't, I don't really like. But I guess we'll just pick it up, because it's not in a great room to re-roll. One minute. I got my alarm going off. I need to do my upload in a second. I'll remember to do it after this, don't worry. You guys will get just precious videos. Oh, hello. A tinted rock that I missed that the foot got for me. Awesome. The straw. Eh. Straw's not super good for us here. Straw's not super good for us. Dut, 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 dut. Right. Item room. First time having a look at what we might want to reroll. <laughs> no, thank you. I will be taking that as it is. Thanks. I'll be taking that exactly as is. And then, what's going on with these rooms having such good items in them right now? I do kind of want um, the Baby Pluto. I am kind of interested in Baby Pluto. This is Necro 2 as well. Yeah, let's buy Baby Pluto. I know that I want to do my re-rolls at some point, but honestly, Baby Pluto is just the cutest. Baby Pluto, it's the cuter. And also, actually, didn't even think about the fact that Baby Pluto is still going to trigger some Tech Zero, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff for us. Not sure what that big sir was doing there. 
Honestly, yeah, even even with a tech zero and nerf with repentance, it's still absolutely slapping right now. Ooh, we got one of these silver poops. These are so rare. So rare. Triple dime, and it gave us the dips with it as well. Yeah, those poops are insanely, insanely rare. Yeah, I somehow found one on my first ever, if not my first ever, Fiend Folio run. Which is, I think, still really crazy. That's like the third one I've ever found. Right, I think we just go ahead. We'll do a Snake Eyes here. We got a pickup, double Bernhardt, nice. Okay, it's going to get a little confusing with the extra foot stepping in here. I don't know, does the foot target us on this fight? It might. We got it in the end. Does not mean the foot is gone though. Ow. <laughs> As I say that, I get hit by it. Great stuff. Uh, Void Portal, you are tempting, but I think it's a little too early to say yes to that. Don't even know why it can show up this early. Bizarre. Here's our Golden Penny again. Golden Penny at the start of every plot is a really interesting concept because it has the potential to give you so much money over the course of a run or to give you naff all. Now, I think you can bomb these endlessly, right, for money. Yeah, you can. Pretty good stuff. We don't need to, though. We're, we're really good money right now. We've got more coming in. Yeah, we've definitely reached a slightly laggier state now. I don't particularly mind. As long as we're going the right way. I should be using Friend Finder more often as well. Especially considering that's something that I am very stupid on. I, I, I apologize for all of you that have noticed this a while ago. But I've not been using Friend Finder, which is for one just dumb because I might as well use it. But also it's more dumb because I have Dimbulb, so... I actually get some all stats up while it's not charged. Which is only for one room every, once every four rooms, but it's still a worthwhile bit of extra stats that I could be getting my hands on that I've been essentially completely neglecting. Nothing there. Good old soul heart. We don't need it. Ah, I pulled you wrong way again. You teal bastard. I don't even need the soul heart you're dropping me. Wow, it's just these these runs have just been wacky recently. I don't know if it's just playing this mod. It just makes these runs. It just like spawns these runs. I don't know. Any of you that are currently playing with my mod pack or something similar, do let me know. How often do you get runs like this? Is this is this like full on just unequivocative YouTuber look, or is this like just what modded runs tend to be like? Because I get these sort of runs, not like I don't mean exactly like this, but these sort of power level of runs, kind of often, more often than I definitely should. Damage down again, bollocks. I think we'll definitely take this. Grab those soul hearts when we need them. Yeah, like, these runs are just bonkers, aren't they? I seem to see stuff like this quite a lot. <laughs> I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it's just kind of crazy. Was hoping I'd get conquest here and not death, but it is what it is. Okay, we just kind of got stuck over the top of this here. Can you, like, get over here, fella? Dude, is this really how you want to do this boss fight? Is this really how you want to do this boss fight, my guy? This seems a little unfair. Oh, we got Cube of Rock. Cube of Rock's better. It's still not great, but it's better. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Okay, I think this is our re-rolling time. Kind of annoying that chest's on top of them. Let's see if I can move it. There you go. Right. Pop this. Bit late for that. 
bit late for both of those, to be honest. Both of those kind of meh. Meh. God damn, these reels have been trashed so far. The This one, very good. I'll take this. Other one, not so good. Or at least not so useful for us now. Empty vessel, yes. Okay. Very good stuff there. That was very worthwhile. I'm going to quickly do a jaunt back up this way. Oops. Thank you for the sharp plug, I guess. Didn't really mean to grab that, but it happened. I just want to quickly check this out to make sure it's not some crazy good item. Or a crawl space that leads to a crazy good item. God's flesh. Not a crazy good item, but still. Intriguing nonetheless. Another tinted rock. Huzzah. Yeah. Extension cable is very nice here. Um, uh, I know that being able to see enemies' health bar is, is pretty nice, but extension cable seems to be doing a good job right now, so I'm pretty happy with it. Can the foot not destroy machines? I thought it could, because it just landed right on that blood donation machine and did nothing. I don't think we need any more money here. Let's be realistic, shall we? Let's hope the game isn't baiting me into going the wrong way here, which it often does when it shows you the boss room. Often looks like you're going the wrong way, and it's like, ah, ah, ah. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how the new save file goes. I really want to try... And, like, uh, people have said to me, obviously, like, oh, we don't care that you don't go for streaks. In fact, we like it because you, you don't, you do take risks and you do take dumb items and stuff. And I'll always do that, I promise. Like, that's something I'm not, I don't want to stop. But I do also, I want to try with the new save file to get a streak going. I think it could be fun to see how long we can go on the new save file without dying. I think that'd be intriguing. So at the minute, I am dying just an absolutely alarming amount. It's kind of ludicrous. Lump of coal there, lovely. Up we go. This has been a pretty beautiful run, to be honest, so far. We've just kind of just glided through. Yeah, Golden Penny, I love you, but I don't need you. Oh, these gemstones count as uh, familiars as well. That's pretty useful. Hierophon is actually just useful now, I didn't even see that. And the other one is the Emperor, which is very useful right now, okay. Oh my god, yeah. So we are getting quite a bit of lag now, we're dropping down to like 30 FPS, but that's still a lot better than it would normally be. Normally with this amount of stuff going on, you're getting like a 20 or lower FPS, so it's at least more playable now. It's still not completely remedied, and I don't know if it ever will be. But it's still, yeah, it's, it's lovely to see that it's it's a lot better than it used to be. Also, do, isn't it the most satisfying feeling in the world to be able to skip all of that? Good item here. Good item here. Good item here. Not going to take that. Shop disc. Why not? Oh, wait. Also, yet another really, really good item here for this. I didn't realize this worked on this last floor for some reason. Well, this is pretty lovely. Just a leisurely walk to the boss. Why do all the boss and stuff when you can just zoom on by? <laughs> what a great item to get for this floor. And of course, we still go all the wrong ways. Because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? There we go. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Not too bad at all. Get that celestial berry. And I think Blue Baby is pretty mashed up right now. I think we're just about ready to say goodbye to him. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this run. Ooh, void. It's, it's been a quick and Let's do it. Why not? Why not? It's been a quick run. I will I will take you on that journey. Do not worry. Do not fret. We're clearing rooms very, very quick right now. So 
I feel like I owe it to you all. Unfortunately, we can't walk through all the doors this time like we could last time. Oh, wait, no, can we? <gasps> we can. <laughs> okay. Yet again, we can just make our way. Oh, my God, we still had our free trial on. We completed the entirety of the last floor in under a minute. I had a flight. I thought I had flight for a minute there. Go where spikes, thank you. Blue baby again. We meet again, good sir. We meet again. Oh my god, look at the amount of electricity. It's actually wild. That's actually pretty good. It's not a crazy speed up because we've already we're already at nearly max. But it's still a speed up nonetheless. Right, just race on through. Accidentally walk into some enemies. It's all part of it's all part of the part of the experience. We're probably gonna go the, the wrong way a lot here. There's gonna have to be some dealing with it, I think. A certain level of just having to put up with it. The hell kind of room is this? God damn, it's so nice to just be able to be nerf out of all the dead ends here. There's just so many. Oh, I walked right into that. Ooh, we got two soul hearts there. Let me go and grab those real quick. Back up to full HP. Love it. All right, here's a boss. We actually have to kill the runes before bosses, though, unfortunately. Can't get away that easily from that. This guy again. I gotta get some good items along the way here as well, potentially. I say good items, and then we get Mum's lipstick. The Yes Mother transformation. Oh my god, I've been waiting so long for this. It is what no one has said ever. I think literally the only time it's ever useful is with the um the, the Yes Mother transformation, that is, is with the um What the hell is it called? The Nod Leaf. With the Nod Leaf it can be useful, but otherwise, it's just a big no. Beautiful. Ooh, I did not pay attention to what that item did to me. I have basically just ruined the amount of HP that I have. I've got an idea though. I've got an idea. It's a bit of a bit of a strange one, but I'm gonna come in here. It's a good room for it actually. I'm going to purposely hit myself. Oh, wait, no. I think it only works in combat. One second. Oh, I hit myself. I can't hit myself. Dude. <laughs> I couldn't hit myself. Oh, my God. Let me hit myself. It doesn't fucking matter, I guess. Fuck's sake. I had an idea. The game won't let it happen. Fuck off. There we go. Finally. We did it. We did it. Right. Kill this guy. Let all these hearts fall, then use this. Grab a few of these, come back over here. And we grab this, and it, now it means that they're segmented. Now it means we can't lose them all at once, look. You see, it's kind of a smart plan, right? really, isn't it? Also, I can play this machine to get some soul hearts too. Oh god. Oh god, I didn't think about the way that would work. <laughs> that is not what I thought would happen. You see, I think that was kind of smart. It didn't really work out in the end the way I wanted it to, because I got hit. But, I think it was kind of smart. <laughs> oh god. I do have flight this time, though. My red heart's now empty. Holy shit. There's another boss. This this could be delirium, this. I could still die here, you know, because of the way that I fucked myself with this uh, health situation. I'll very easily die here. Completely screwed myself with my health. Basically, I need to... 
I need him in his delirium form. His actual delirium form. So I can, this, this form. So I can deal good damage to him. When he's not in that form, I'm just not going to kill him quick enough. But if he stays in it for long enough, which he is now, we can get a really good chunk of damage on him. Because he's got no boss armor in this phase. And as you saw there, did pretty well. Although I think he just healed upon transforming into this guy. Which seems a little bit bullshit to me. Oh no, he didn't. Good. It looked like he did, but he actually didn't. Gotta be so careful to try and not get hit here. <laughs> Which is very difficult on the Delirium fight, because everything's just crazy. What even just happened there? Don't do it again. Don't act like this is fair. Doing all this bullshit. Come on, transform back into your normal self. You know you want to. Speed up. Thank you, Snake Eyes. Not super useful considering I have two speed, but better than something negative. Here we go. Now just stay in this phase for a little while. Ah, not quite long enough. And his health has gone up again because he transformed into this guy. Which again, unfair. But he's almost dead. We didn't actually get hit at all here, so that was pretty good going. Ah. Oh. I say that. And then the game's like, nope. <laughs> just going to end that uh, end that streak there that you just spoke about. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm definitely glad we went for Delirium there. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.